Hello, how are you doing today? I'm going to show you a little bit of the equipment I use when I go out hiking or to state parks, camping. Anytime I want to document um, where I've been, the scenery, the animals, the vegetation, the streams and the ponds, that type of thing. And so some of the equipment I use, I'm going to show it to you today. I won't go into a lot of details. Uh, as you can see here, I have uh, them all laid out on my uh, little tray here. Let's just start with the items and work through them. First item, of course, very important if you're going out into the woods on the trail would be to have uh, some bug protection and some sort of repellent, especially for the mosquitoes, ticks, and chiggers. And I always keep a small bottle in my pants pocket in case I run into unexpected uh, swarms so I can put that on instead of putting it on when, just when I get in through the car. Uh, lip, lip balm would be a second item that you certainly don't leave home without because uh, you certainly don't want to have dry chapped lips uh, for being out in the weather. Definitely need to have water, uh, bottled water. I have this nifty little uh, uh, lanyard thing that uh, hooks to your belt loop and this slips into uh, the cap, right under the cap of bottled water and so you can dangle that off the side of your your belt and have a supply of water with you. A pocket knife, pocket knife, definitely uh, important uh, to have uh, in case you need to cut string or cut some vines. Uh, just for, you know, just, again, I don't leave home without this. Even if I go to work, I have my knife. Sunglasses, definitely sunglasses are important uh, when you're. Uh, out in the hot sun or you're driving or you're walking. Again, if you're in shady areas or whatever, you certainly uh, don't need them, but they come in quite handy. You need to have backup uh, for your electronic devices, backup batteries for your cameras, video cameras. Uh, definitely, uh, if you have a AA and AAA battery items, uh, make sure you have spares of those backup memory for your electronic devices but anymore the memory cards are so large uh, it's not often unless you're going to be gone for quite a while that you would need those but definitely keep those in mind uh, i like to record the uh, background uh, sounds when i'm out and about uh, the birds the the running water things like that and uh, i bought this uh, zoom H1 and it's uh, been an excellent uh, recorder, stereo recorder, has a windscreen on this one. Uh, I do recommend that you monitor by using some earphones. Earphones uh, will help you see if there's any kind of too much wind noise or if you're in a case where you have to hand hold the item, uh, the microphone, uh, it's very easy to get scratchy uh, noise from just your handling and moving it around. So you you can monitor that and be more careful with it. But I always recommend setting it down on a stable surface uh, and letting it run. Now I wouldn't record but 30 minute bites at the most. That way it makes your files easier to manage and to look through for exactly what you need on that. Today I'm using it for my voice. I actually have a, a lapel mic uh, that's plugged into the unit. And that way uh, you eliminate a lot of the, uh, again, wind noise or extra noise camera will also do uh, audio but again that's uh, not as good a quality audio as you'll get with this item so let's start into cameras and my newest camera here is the uh, gopro hero 3 and this item is an excellent item for uh, doing nature shots again they promote it for when you're in activities like uh, skiing or uh, uh, even on motorcycles or boats or whatever, cars for high speed actions or activities. Again, I didn't buy it for that. I just bought it for uh, being able to take it out into nature and do some things I can't do with normal video cameras. And this allows me to do it. And it's a, a very small camera, very capable. It's in a waterproof case, the way it's come and so uh, it's impervious to the weather and you can drop it. Uh, it it's quite a durable camera it can do video in different resolutions it can do still uh, pictures it can do time lapse 
and um, time lapse and the, and the uh, video are the main uses of this item. And it comes with the various types of mounts that you can use. And my favorite one and the one I started using it right away was this telescoping uh, mount here. And again, it telescopes out so that uh, you can have a little more extended reach with the, the camera. And I have mounted to it right now a GoPro a tripod mount because any uh, camera uh, tripod mount camera can go on this so let me demonstrate uh, how I use this I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it on the mount and um, get the shot here if I can and uh, again, now you have it on a, as I like to say, camera on a stick. And again, this extends your reach up and around. Uh, you can actually even uh, hold it out, uh, put it at a, an angle that you can actually uh, record yourself. If you want to make a commentary um, about um, uh, what you're doing, you can do that. But mainly what I use it for is I put it at an angle so that I can hold it down at my side. And holding it down on my side, I'm able to um, give an impression of where I'm walking, especially if I show a little bit of my foot motion as I'm walking down a path. And it makes a very good video. It's, again, very good at, at motion. And so uh, I use this a lot to, to go down the paths um, and uh, get a perspective that you normally don't get from a video if you're doing it at eye level. This camera does uh, have capabilities of being attached to helmets or headbands on your head, to your chest, body chest, or probably other parts of your body, so you can experience what you're seeing when you're doing activities. Again, like I say, I do it for more nature and hiking than I do any, any kind of sporting activity. Now, again, this gives me most of my reach that I need, but sometimes I want to go a little bit further. And Oh, the other thing that's good about this uh, pole is, again, it compacts. You make it very compact. You can stick it in, in your pocket if you have big extra pockets in your shorts or at least carry it a lot easier. And you notice this band on the end. All of my electronic devices I take out in the field, I have this and I make sure it is around my wrist when I'm using it. So I will not have that uh, sinking feeling when it gets dropped into uh, a a place that uh, I can't reach or into the water. And again, I do take water shots with this and I'm gonna show some videos over my voice, uh, hopefully that will show some of the use, uses of this. But as I was saying before, this sometimes is not a reach that's far enough that you uh, want, want to get to the area you want. And so I have devised another uh, device for holding my camera. And that is just taking a painter's pole. This one is telescoping. It telescopes out to about 12 feet, and um, which gives you plenty of reach. And again, you can really only go any more than that because you can't hold it out that far. Very, you know, and be very stable. Uh, now the end, uh, I put in, again a, a little short uh, roller on the end, paint roller, and then a little angle. A bracket that I bought at uh, the hardware store which already had holes drilled in it and then I just bought a quarter inch bolt and nut uh, which 20 threads that uh, is the same as on a tripod so now I can mount my GoPro I can take it uh, off my shorter stick and mount it on the larger one And now you have a, it on a, a, a pole that you can really extend far into the air uh, or down into the water or over the bank into the water and get some shots that you normally uh, wouldn't be able to reach. And it uh, does a real nice job. And some video, uh, you should be seeing some video playing showing um, the advantage of this, either into treetops or reaching out across uh, an area that you normally wouldn't. Uh, be able to reach. Make some really nice, nice uh, shots. 
Another uh, use of the, uh, the uh, GoPro would be time lapse. And again, looking on the internet, I saw recommendations for being able to not only uh, take your time lapse setting on a tripod or sitting in a stable place pointing in one direction, but actually taking a, a panning uh, a panning time lapse and using just a kitchen timer. This is a kitchen timer ordered off at Amazon. I put a GoPro mount on top so the camera will be, can be mounted to the top. And then I glued a bolt. I glued a bolt to the bottom. So now you have a bolt that will fit in a tripod so you can set it up stably anywhere. And then you have your mount for your um, your GoPro camera. And again, all you have to do is rotate the timer to however how many minutes you want to do your time lapse. Start your time lapse. And of course, the top of the timer will actually rotate back around to zero. So you can pan as, as far around. You can go all the way up to uh, 60 minutes and rotate completely 360 degrees around uh, using this uh, real simple device. 10 bucks from Amazon. Again, I mentioned my, uh, my sound system. It's very important. Take sound. I have um, a Canon D5100 that I uh, use a lot. It's good to have some nice quality stills. You can make slideshows or put them into your videos of showing more details. Using, if you have a zoom lens or a wide angle lens, you can just capture a lot more, again, high quality. Uh, pictures of, of the areas that you've seen. I usually take at least one or two video cameras. Um, I have one video camera that's got GPS built in, so uh, I use that a lot just to document locations. If I'm on a hike, hiking trail or in an area and want to know on the map where that is when I get back, uh, I'll take a few shots just to uh, be able to get the coordinates out of that. Now, I do have a, a GPS. I didn't bring that out. That's something that um, I haven't used a lot on the trail. Uh, that's something that um, I should put in my pack and do that. Speaking of packs, um, it's always a problem when you have a lot of gear to take with you, you know, how do you manage this? And I've got this a little Magellan sling that, um, that I bought and I'm trying to see whether uh, it'll, it'll really in the long run be what I need. But so far, I can get all my equipment here that's on this table uh, into this pack. And then it's, again, like a sling pack, so it'll, it'll go over, over my back and um, be convenient for carrying items like that. I have a backpack uh, chair that clicks to your belt loop and it's very, very light, but it's comfortable enough. So if you are going out somewhere and doing a time lapse or doing a longer video to try to capture wildlife or changing of, of the time of the day, uh, then you have a place to sit down if there's no other uh, convenient place for you to sit. And, and if I'm planning on doing that, I usually will throw in a Kindle or a Nook in my backpack here and I have a book to read while I'm doing that. I usually don't have enough confidence to leave my tripod and my camera too far away that I can't keep an eye on it because um, um, you know you just don't know whether someone will come along and pick it up or the wind will blow it over or, or something will happen to it anyway and, and I don't want to lose that expensive uh, equipment besides what are footage that I've collected over that time period of time. So again, uh, right before you on this table, my main equipment that I always take with me 